The continued fight against COVID-19 requires the continued practice of public health measures across all sectors and in every community. Frequent and proper hand washing, wearing face masks, and physical distancing. Do you know who is not physical distancing? The Aedes aegypti mosquito. Let's avoid overloading our healthcare systems. This means simultaneously protecting yourselves and your loved ones from all disease, including mosquito-borne illness like dengue fever, Zika, and chikungunya viruses. Did you know that dengue is the most common mosquito-borne viral disease in the world? So let's get to work. Use window and door screens to keep mosquitoes out. Change the water in vases and scrub inside surfaces to remove mosquito eggs. Avoid using saucers with potted plants to prevent collection of water. Securely cover water barrels and drums with mosquito netting and properly fitted covers. Scrub the inside walls of water barrels and drums with detergent one to two times per week. Walk around the outside of your home and remove or overturn containers that can collect water and become breeding sites. Mosquitoes only need a small amount of water to lay their eggs. Remove unwanted cans, bottles, buckets or used tires. Other items still in use must be properly stored in covered areas to avoid water settling in them. Clean roof gutters and air conditioner trays. Debushing and removing tall grass from around your home or establishment is also key to reducing mosquito populations. To decrease your risk of being bitten by infected mosquitoes, use proven personal protective methods too. Apply an effective mosquito repellent to exposed areas of skin according to manufacturer's instructions. Wear light-colored long pants and shirts while outdoors in the early morning and late afternoons. Further, protect vulnerable family members like pregnant women, children, the elderly, and persons who are unwell by using mosquito nets to sleep or rest, even during the day. Fight the bite and protect yourself and your family too from mosquito-borne diseases. This message is brought to you by the Pan American Health Organization. Office for Barbados and the Eastern Caribbean countries.